we're done here, right? Some answers. Thanks for the shot, Doc. <laughs> it's the 9th of January. Very cold. It's It's been very cold for the past few days. But today is just another level of cold. I can't even open the windows. Wait, how many degrees is it outside? Today is 7 degrees. I hope I look even slightly decent because I have not showered. It's been a freaking out fest. We are now in the double digits, so it's the 10th of January and there is eight days for my first exam, 13 days until my second exam. There's plenty of time for me to review and study, but I can't have days like yesterday. So I started watching Prison Break, watched three episodes, and I read a Colleen Hoover book that I didn't even particularly enjoy. Now today I spent the whole morning in bed just watching YouTube video. I really want to be able to focus today and finish this lecture and do important things today. We can do this. now 5 30 and i managed to finish the esophagus cancer i think this took me three pomodoro sessions i wanted to accomplish until here but one step at a time so next i have the stomach or gastric lecture which is also around 25 pages and then i have colorectal hopefully i can finish this one until dinner i'm going to change the little mark that motivates me. This is not the end of the material. I only printed until module 5. Um, I printed until here. I'm currently going through number 4 and tomorrow I'll finish number 5. There are 10 modules. I don't know if I should print it or not because I can just open the document. Gastric cancer, here we go. <laughs>
I'm done with the gastric cancer lecture. Yesterday I couldn't finish it, I was missing the treatment. Today I was supposed to also review for ophthalmology, which is something that I haven't touched since the beginning of the semester, where I studied more than half of the lectures, but I wanted to do exercises. I'm not going to do slides for ophthalmology or dermatology, but yeah, I wanted to revise ophthalmology and I wanted to study two oncology lectures. Can we do this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure we can do this, but if the prostate cancer lecture is short, because I know the oncology colon cancer one is not, we'll see how much I can do today. As you can see, I'm in a much better mood because I'm starting to see the end of the road. It's been a very tiring month. Nearly done with the colon rectal cancer lecture and by almost done I mean about only having the treatment left. Yeah, can you see the amount of stuff that I read in just the past few days and there's about double of this left to work on. So it is now almost 1 a.m. and I am now starting prostate cancer. Fortunately, I think it is a smaller lecture. I think it only has about 20 pages. Pages. <laughs> so it's not that. I don't know. I'm hoping that I could finish it tonight before going to sleep. So tomorrow I didn't have to worry about it. Kind of rescheduled some things. I can show you quickly. Yesterday I did a lot. But still, I wasn't able to finish the colon and the gastric lectures. So I finished the gastric and the colon today. And so today I had prostate and ophthalmology, ophthalmology revision, which I didn't end up doing because I was so freaking busy with the colon, which took forever. So I wanted to do quickly prostate. This is kind of the schedule for the next three days. I have about <laughs> three lectures each day. So I didn't want to delay this one for tomorrow, so tomorrow I have these four that I wanted to do. I put four because the um, these two are way shorter. So right now, finishing prostate cancer would be great. So I'm on my break. I did two sessions. I didn't want to talk to you before I finish before I finish the prostate cancer lecture because for some reason it makes me feel better. So now I'm headed to kidney. Today I have four lectures. It's currently 11 a.m. So I have a full day of cancer lectures ahead of me. So today is kidney, ovary, endometrium, palliative care, and pain. I mean everything is already pretty detailed but we're talking about detailed details. Just kidney, ovary, endometrium. I'm going to do that today. I will do it today. We're speaking it to existence. Honey, you've got a big storm coming.
not doing so great today. And it's cold and I'm not sleeping well. But I got some ice cream. Let's give this a try. I haven't had ice cream since the summer, so it's been a while. <laughs> Tastes like frozen yogurt. Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for. Wonder if you found what you're looking for. I hope it's not too late. I want you back here with me. We never should have said it's better this way. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know. Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds. Come on back to me. Say that you won't go. I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close. Say that you won't go. Say that you won't go. say more than halfway through this has got to be the worst powerpoint i have ever studied this semester so far it's just a bunch of study if i didn't have the notes from this lecture i would not be able to decipher any of this we have reached the 500 slides mark on my own powerpoint Melanomas, can y'all believe this? I can't. Oh my god, I've lecture, so many biological treatments and stuff, but it's done. I also did the questions, I can check it off my list. Now I'm gonna go have quickly lunch, but then I'm gonna do viruses. These are all my sections, so you can see that melanoma one has 64 slides compared to the lung one, which took me the longest. It's 54. So now let's do. I just took a shower, feeling refreshed. It is now 6.30. I'm nearly, nearly finishing the viruses lecture. I left the lectures that I like the less. Um, this is the last final stretch. Just three more lectures.
It is now 9.30. Just finished taking a very well-deserved shower. I'm going to do two more sessions and I'm going to go to bed. Tomorrow, it's the last day before the exam, which means I'm going to need a lot of brain power. I always do a lot the day before the exam because I definitely don't feel a fog in my brain anymore. I just feel like, oh, it's last minute, like I need to go, 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 go. At least two nights before the exam, I'm going to sleep well and I'm going to make it a priority. Right now, I'm going to revise the kidney lecture. I was talking to some peers and friends who are also going to be taking the exam. Everybody's freaking out and stressing. I went through these lectures and it's, yeah, it goes all the way down. Comfortable boy possible. Yes, you are. Yeah. You're really sleepy. to call kidney. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left. How do you have to be it? Yeah, the prima internal means you return this technique. So I have to be a muscle seat. So what's the money box solution? So I just took a shower and I watched some YouTube as I ate something. The exam is tomorrow at 2.30. That gives me the whole morning to revise. The exam is not even that long. The exam is just 50 questions. It's just 50 questions, so... I think in the next, in the second exam, which is going to be two hours, in that one I'm going to need some coffee before, but I think in this one, especially when I sleep well tonight, I think I'm going to be fine. If y'all knew the freaking material that we have, the whole entirety of the lectures is just details and small details. You can't treat a cancer that has like two centimeters the way that you would treat a cancer that has like seven centimeters. For certain types of histology, you can't give this immunotherapy and for others you can. And this is all for a three credit exam. Let's hope for the best. got home and i'm gonna get ready to go to the gym sat at starbucks for a little bit i finished room of one's own so i'm gonna go to a cycle class it's gonna be at 7 30. i think the exam went well but i'm not sure because i'm never sure of anything but i think it's enough to pass but either way it doesn't it doesn't matter if i know the grade or not and i'm not gonna let this like weigh on my mind because now i need to be 100 percent focused sorry i'm pacing i need to be 100 percent focused for my next exam on monday it actually felt good to like be in an exam room like i weirdly missed that different to do an exam in person than at home that's a wrap for oncology because even if i wanted to re retake the exam and have a better grade that would have to be an oral exam it changes from subject to subject but this for this subject it had to be an oral exam i'm definitely not going to do that unless i have like 
I don't pass. Fingers crossed I can pass well. I feel like I learned so much from this. Just these like 700 slides of material for three credits.